So as John says, I'm Alison Grieve, I'm founder of G-Hold. Uh, G-Hold is a very, very simple device. It's a way of ergonomically and securely holding your tablet devices of any sort. It's a universal solution. It rotates 360 degrees and um, it has been uh, tested to take the weight off your hand and wrist and of course allow you to have great posture when you're using your tablet device. G-Hold has, um, has been uh, it launched a few years ago. It sold over, it has uh, over 100,000 um, daily users of the G-Hold. And um, we've taken in revenues of uh, over 1.2 million pounds for, for our products. So um, we partner with tech companies like Microsoft and Amazon. But I, I'm not actually here today to talk about hardware. I love hardware. I love manufacturing in Scotland where we manufacture, and I love the physicality of technology. Um, but, but thinking about the physicality of technology and making it easier to use from a human perspective is also important to think about the software and how it empowers you to use the incredible software which is available on mobile technology today. And so that's really what I'm going to uh, talk about. What we're going to do is something I haven't done before um, live. Uh, we're going to do a live augmentation of a logo. So for that, I'm going to have to use my iPad. Now, I'm just going to slip into something more comfortable. <laughs> so, um, Unfortunately, we couldn't get the, the iPads connected in a very live way up to the screen, so I'm going to just show you it um, uh, just in front of you here. Let's get on now. So, the logo that I've chosen, because there's a lot of love in the air this morning, between our company and another fantastic hardware company, Robotical. So, we're going to augment the, um, the Robotical logo. So um, I just downloaded this from, from Google, so it's not the highest res of logos. I'm going to take you through a suite of different applications that I like to use in a mobile way on my Apple iPad computer. I don't know if any of you have got iPads. Yay! But, um, but I, I'm in love. It took me a long time to be able to convert all of my work over onto an iPad. But um, now there's nothing that I can't do on this machine that I could do on anything else. So, um, first of all, what I'm going to do is, um, I've taken this from Google, I just did a straight image save, and I've opened it on Pixelmator. This is the icon for Pixelmator. It's a fantastic graphics app. So for just very quick edits of photographs, you can do that. But you can really, really zoom in and do a kind of a pixel by pixel um, refresh on images. So what I'm going to do with the Robotical logo is um, you can see that it is quite pixelated. So the coloration is not quite right on that eye. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use this select button. Um, I'll use an elliptical selector and try and cover up this eye, and I'm going to try and make it all the same colour. And I'll do that by selecting the paintbrush there, and um, I'm going to choose a colour which is kind of one of the central colours there, selecting it, there we go, and I'm just going to brush over it. And now it's all the nice same colour. So just a little action like that has really helped the robotical to come to life. Can you see that? Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this image and it's going to become the first image in a video. And it's a video that is going to lie behind the robotical image by the time we augment it later. So um, I'll copy that to photos and then I'm going to open my video editing app. The one that I like to use is Cute Cuts, but you can use iMovie. There's lots of fantastic video apps that are available on the market for the iPad. I just like Cute Cuts because I find that I can do a bit more with it on an individual basis. So I'll call this new movie Google AR. Create that. I'm going to make it a square video because 
generally if you're sharing stuff on social media or even if you are doing this kind of logo augmentation it's much easier to do it in this square format so I'm going to select square and we're going to get started so first of all we can add either videos or photographs or text or music or voice so I'm going to add the photograph of the robotical logo there we go and that's going to become our first frame now they kind of automatically put a picture at two seconds that's going to be too long I'm going to chop it down to about a quarter of a second so that it's just a flash of an image pop it there and then I'm going to delete that there okay so we do want it to become animated. So the first thing that I'm going to do is bring the word to life a little bit. So let's just select the R of robot. Um, there's different ways that you can select things. You've seen the elliptical selection. Um, I quite like color selection as well. It tends to just take a block of an image. Um, so I'll select the R. Can you see it's kind of selected? Um, and then I'm going to color that something nice and bright so that we can make it stand out a bit. There we go, it's kind of pink colour. Okay, done, and deselect, and then I'm going to copy that image. Copy to photos, I'm going to go into cute cuts again, I'm going to add this photograph, you can see the R there. And I'm going to chop that down also, so about a quarter of a second. Selecting it, do a chop, and then I'm going to delete it. Okay, so if we look at where we are so far, you've got your animated R come to life. Now, I could go through each of the letters individually, but I'm going to have a here's one I made earlier moment. <laughs> <laughs> so there is there's the robotical logo augmented with all the <laughs> all the letters um, but we're not going to stop there I'm going to show you another one of my favourite apps it's a bit secret but there is an app called Wurble now Wurble can bring photographs to life very easily with animation overlays so we're going to go into Wurble there's lots of things these are some examples on the home page of what people have done to sort of bring still images to life with lots of really cool preset animations. So let's go into there. Then I'm going to select just the plain robotical logo. And we're going to have a play about with some of these. Now, if we were feeling a bit dramatic, we could go into there, look at all these people wanting to get their hands <laughs> on a robotical. Um, or we could be a bit that mean we don't really want to do that. So we want to go. Let's not do that. So let's come out of Halloween. Um, it could also be a little bit more loving towards robotical. Get some romance on. There we go. That's some nice wow. petals. Um, but really, robotical is all about technology, and we want to reflect that with a bit of dramatic tech overlay. So let's go into. Let's go into tunnel trance, get a bit of 90s. Um, here's a good one. Let's go for this one. Let's have a look at this. It's quite dramatic. It's quite good to go for quite dramatic overlays when you're doing augmented logos because it really pops out and the impact is a lot more kind of um, surprising. So let's add another overlay just to really tech it up. Um, this is a starter pack that comes when you get Wurble, all the other kind of add-ons you need to pay for. But the starter pack is pretty good. Um, you can have fire, or um, there's, I think, some rain. We're not going to do that, though, because Marty's really quite happy. So let's have a look at one that might be a bit more suitable. Here's, here's something a bit techy. Okay, so if we're happy with that, <laughs> then, um, then we will, we're, we're going to share it, you just, you, you, you can opt to share, so we're going to save that to our photographs, we'll save it as a video, and we'll save it as about six seconds, we 
don't want it too long. So let's now go back into our cute cuts and this time we're going to add video, we're going to add the robotical six second video, there we go. However, no, no augmentation would be complete without a little bit of music. So this is the third, the third, and you're going to join in as well. We're doing now. So let's go, let's go to Garage Band. Garage Band is a good way if you, if you want to make music and nobody wants to play, then <laughs> you can just do it yourself. Um, so. This is a, I, I, I put a, a sort of a very basic beat together the other day. Got no sound on. Okay, but, but you're gonna join, you're gonna join in. We're gonna, we're gonna put some, put some voice to this. So, um, we're gonna go into microphone. There's different types of, of mics. You can have pop overdrive, you can have chorus. We're going to go for some heavy distortion just for fun <laughs> and see how we get on there. So it counts you in um, a four beat and then we're all going to shout out robots okay, to the four beat and we'll do that. So it will sound a bit like this, robots, 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 robots. Okay, so we're going to record this now. <laughs> okay, so. Robots, 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 robots. Here we go. Let's hear how that sounds. Robots. Robots. <laughs> However, if you do want to get a little bit more fun, because you can actually hear me too much, I think there. <laughs> um, we're gonna, we're gonna. There, there's a button that says fun, so obviously. I can get <laughs> Um, so, and, and look what we see, we see an actual robot, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of tempted to see how that's going to sound. So let's try and robots. save robots as robots. Okay, so again. Robots! 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 <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm just going to uh, see how that sounds. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's going to work. Now, um, I was so excited I forgot to stop it at the right point. So I'm going to show you, we just again double click on that. You move this over to the end of the beat. And we, we say split. And then that will enable us to cut it there. So it's going to be aligned. Right, now. We've done that now, it's in my song, and I am going to select this, and I am going to share. I'm going to share it as a song, it's high quality, and I can actually select copy to cue cut there. So it's now going to sit in a little file sharing section of cue cuts, once it's exported. Okay, we have imported that. So let's have a look at that. I think it's this one. Yep. Okay, so we're going to select that one for sure. And then there we have it. Um, I'm just going to chop it down to size because I think it's a bit long. There we go. Oops. Chop that. Okay, I think we're good. some business cards while I'm doing this next bit just logging on to the Archive app it's going to hand out these now um, for those of you with iOS or Android phones if you could download the Archive app now that's how you spell Archive what is it? 
our tagline is a way that you're going to be able to look at that logo on the business card and it's going to come to life. So, and they can do it with this any phone? We can do it with um, any, any phone that has, yeah, that, that is Android or iOS. So, I'm going to to upload this into the sort of back end of this Art of I website. I'm going to add an artwork. I'm going to call it Robotical. Okay, add artwork. I'm going to drop the image there. So we'll start with the Robotical one. That means that it's going to the, the, the background technology will recognize that shape, the shape of the robotical logo, and it will know to then play the video I'm going to ask it to play. Yeah. And we use that. So, we are ready to add that. Let's see. Now, it might take a little while for it to, to upload it. It's going to process the artwork, but it's quite a short video, so hopefully within just a couple of minutes, it should come to life. It's asking me to make sure, do you follow what they've said? Uh, yeah, so, but it might just, it might just not have uploaded yet. It takes like a couple right. of seconds for it to kind of approve. Oh, you, can't do it. No, no, show you, you need the card. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a great way to promote your business yeah. card, isn't it? Yeah. 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 What do you mean? Could you do one for mine? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, then we have, of course, augmented our own logo. Oh. And Hedy Lamar, who's my favourite inventor, Hedy Lamar. So if you look at them, they don't have music to them. Oh no, actually, g -Hole does have music. It should come to life as the g -Hole. It can, comes yeah. to life with the With, with the, the same app, yeah. Hold on, where, where's my app? Oh, there it is. And there is the magic. Don't tell How does it come to life? Sorry. Oh, right. Oh, my God. So, can you put all that on the same way you did this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And that's how, what the product does and la, la, la. Yeah, that's my voice, actually. <laughs> yeah. And only much easier, of course, with the iPad and I couldn't do the thing the product on the back of it because it really just helps to speed everything up and it really connects you to you know anything that you're doing creatively is much easier if you actually have it in your hands and you're using the touch screen because I feel that the interface of a keyboard and a mouse it kind of puts you separates you one one bit apart where it's being able to connect in this way it just makes it much much faster. So here we go. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Alessandra.